there. Uh, I am relaxing on my groovy flower power couch. I just got done listening to a ton of music and danced around my living room for like two hours. It's really good for my soul. Um, and I highly suggest that to anybody. Um, if that's not your thing, find what's good for your soul and do it. Whatever you need to do to get through this weird time. Um, anyway, I'm all out of energy for dancing, but not quite ready for bed. So I wanted to do something productive with my time. I have been hearing a lot of people complaining about going to grocery stores um, and big retail stores that are still open um, for household supplies and food and such. Um, and I have a remedy for that. Um, there are a lot of shortages concerning bread, milk, eggs, butter, uh, things like that. Uh, you know, your basic ingredients that you need to pretty much make everything. So I've been hearing a lot of uh, complaints of people's dissatisfaction that when they do um, go out to their grocery stores that they can't find you know everything that they need and feel they wasted a trip or they you know maybe you don't want to go to the grocery store because you don't want to be around a bunch of people or maybe you just flat out can't get there um, but at the end of the day we all need to eat so I would like to suggest uh, that people start turning to your small local businesses <clears throat> for your for your food um, and um, beverage needs they are here they are open they are offering delivery they are offering uh, curbside pick up and they are offering takeout. A lot of small businesses are suffering um, a lack of business um, and we, we really need to remember them at this time. They are the backbone of our community um, and now they, they need us to be a backbone for them. They will not be receiving any type of bailouts. Um, a lot of them won't be able to make it through. Um, this lack of business and, and remain open so without our patronage. So please let's all uh, order from our local businesses um, as often as we can um, through this debacle. Um, I'm going to rattle off some names and phone numbers of some local businesses that are offering <clears throat> food and essential um, items. Um, I'm in Catasauqua, so I'm going to um, mainly name the businesses in Catasauqua. It is a small town. They rely heavily um, on Catasauqua's residents for, for the bulk of their business. Um, but, you know, people from Whitehall, Copley, Bethlehem, surrounding areas, Allentown, um, you know, please come visit these small businesses also. It's, it's a hop, skip, and a jump like five minutes from you. Um, first, I'm going to start with a business. That's, uh, not in Catasauqua, but it's like 30 seconds over the Ray Street Bridge. Um, it's Bev's Cake and Candy Supply. She is offering curbside uh, pickup. Um, now that we're all in and we're bored, um, this would be a great time to experiment with um, baking, um, candy making. Uh, she has all the ingredients, um, all the supplies, candy molds. I mean, anything you would need <clears throat> for your ca uh, candy making or, you know, just something for fun. Um, and she also has a ton of candy if you just want candy to eat. Um, she is at 881 um, 3rd Street on, uh, in Whitehall. Um, it, for, the, for those of you that don't know, that's actually Fullerton Avenue. It's the same road. It's just part of it. It's 3rd Street for a bit. Um, so call her and place your order, and she will gather it and, and, and uh, bring it out to your car. Um, the number there is 610-266-2123. So please uh, think of her. Um, and it's, it's going to be something really fun to do. Okay, next, my favorite place to get a hamburger, Caddy Corner Neighborhood Pub and Pie. They are on the corner of um, Mulberry and Howard Town Road. They are offering delivery, curbside pickup, and takeout. They are offering a full menu um, um, of food and also uh, takeout beverages and beer. And, like, you know, everybody loves beer. Um, not only are they not price gouging, they are offering a ton um, of food specials. Um, look on their Facebook page for, for the actual specials. There's, there's a lot of them. Um, their phone number is a 610-443-2284. Um, we got Blondie's Cupcakes, uh, um, 333 Front Street. She's not just a cupcake shop. Um, she does offer um, homemade meals. They are offering curbside pickup um, and takeout. Um, uh, please call them. I know a lot of people um, in the evenings are sitting home enjoying a cocktail or some wine, and her cupcakes go fabulous with that. And again, she she is offering home cooked meals, and they are fabulous. I have been eating 
her food since she has opened. Um, there's Blockers Coffee House to get your morning cup of joe on. They serve it hot. They serve it cold. They have tea, hot and cold also. Um, they also sell supplies that you can make your coffee and tea at home. Uh, they're at 309 Front Street. They are offering curbside pickup. Their phone number is 610-443-0707. So please don't forget about them. Um, also, we have uh, Pies on Pizza. And don't forget they have a breakfast bistro that is open from 6 in the morning until 2 p.m. The breakfast bistro, they're offering delivery um, and takeout. Their phone number is 610-443-2211. Um, the actual Pies on Pizza uh, place, they are offering a full menu delivery. Um, also, pick up. Their number is 610-264-7000. Uh, we got Caddy Pizza. Um, they're on the corner of Second and Bridge, uh, offering full menu deliver delivery or pickup. Um, they're on the corner of Second and Bridge. Their number is six one zero two six six two five nine nine. We've got um, two little markets here in town. Um, there's D and D on Ray Street. So, like, if you need toilet paper, uh, they also have a full deli, frozen foods, dry foods, uh, beverages, um, cigarettes, whatever it is you need. Um, go check them out. There's also M and D Market on the corner of Second and Church. Um, they're open their normal hours. Uh, they're a convenience store. If you need your car serviced, um, T and D Auto on the corner of Front and Church. They are open. You need um, tires. You need an oil change. You need an inspection. You need under the hood work done. They are open. Um, and, and ready to, to help you. Um, also, Catasauqua Auto Repair, um, 1203 2nd Street. Go uh, see John, say hi. Um, have him look at your car, see what you need. Um, his prices are super affordable. The phone number is 610-266-0236. Go see him. There may be some businesses that I missed in this video. It is late. It's after midnight, so I'm kind of tired. So if I missed anybody, it wasn't intentional. Um, you can leave in the comments section um, tag a business, tag a person who owns a business, um, and, you know, give a little information on what, what they offer. And I cannot express how imperative it is that we patronize these businesses during this weird time. Um, they are really the backbone of the community. They're the ones that are, you know, the first to offer, um, services, product, gift certificates to local charities, uh, fundraising events. Um, you're not going to get that from big corporations, um, they really are the backbone of the community, um, and we need to be, like I said, a backbone for them now. They're here for us. We need to be there for them, and the only way to do that is to patronize their businesses. I mean, they see enough of me, so it's, uh, you know, I don't really need this message. I just want to relay that to everybody else, um, how really, really important it is that we, um, use these local businesses and their services and their product and especially with the food with the shortages in the grocery stores and such i mean if you think about it you go to the grocery store and you buy all the ingredients that you need um to make a big meal for your family i mean first of all you, you know you have to get to the grocery store then they have to have everything you need which you're which is probably not going to be the case um due to the shortages um you call up your 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 local pizza shop or your local bar that's offering a full menu you can order a whole family meal um you know it's a win-win situation you don't have to do the cooking they can bring it right to your door you don't even have to be around anybody um if you're concerned about this coronavirus thing so it really is a total win-win situation so pick up your telephone give them a call place your order either go get it um or have it delivered it's really a no-brainer, and it would be a real shame to see any of these businesses close. They, they really are suffering, um, and like I said, at the end of the day, we all need to eat, so why not? So let's do this. We can get through this, um, but we're not going to be able to get through this if we, if we don't do it together. So um, I provided addresses. I provided phone numbers. Um, there really is no reason... Uh, to not make a call today, and it, it, I mean, if there's one of these businesses that you haven't patronized before, like, there's no better time than the present. So give them a call, tell them Missy sent you, um, and leave in the comments section if you plan on patronizing one of these businesses. I'm just curious to know what you'll be ordering, um, or when you do patronize one of these businesses, you know, let me know what you ordered, maybe take a picture of what you ordered, um, and let me know what you think. Um, I guess that's it for tonight. 
So everybody, be well, stay safe. Um, check on your neighbors, especially the elderly and the handicapped. Check on those who live alone. Let's all pull together, uh, get through this weird time together. Um, that's really the only way it's going to work. Um, so what I'm getting tomorrow, um, I'm going to get um, my breakfast from Paisan Breakfast Bistro. I'm going to get my lunch from um, Blondie's Cupcakes. I'm going to see if they have cabbage and noodles on the menu tomorrow. If they do, I'm going to get that. Um, and then tomorrow for dinner, it's going to be hamburgers from uh, Caddy Corner. And the day after that, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, but I would really love to know uh, what your plans are. So please leave that in the comments. And I hope everybody is um, staying sane through this debacle. And um, please turn on your radios and dance around your living room and spread laughter and, you know, do whatever it is uh, you need to do to stay sane during this weird time. And I wish everybody well. And I hope to see everything back to normal very soon because I miss everybody. Um, miss going to the local bars, hanging out with my friends, going to the movies. I'm sure we all miss that. Um, so it's just going to be all that more enjoyable when, when we can engage in that stuff again. Uh, so for now, do whatever you need to do to stay sane. Try to get some uh, fresh air every day. And please, please, please patronize your um, local small businesses and, and encourage everybody that you know to do the same. Have a great day.